Hi guys, Ernie here and welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to work on Canyon Speedmax CF for which we have already uh, established an aerodynamic position for the rider. Uh, for that we have made changes to the stem position. We also changed the stem length to, and compensate uh, with the extensions. It's a USC ski band 50 degree and we also dropped a couple of spaces here and fiddled around with the armrests to get that narrow position but uh, to get it really optimal we'll need some different armrests as you can see this one doesn't really allow that and of course i'm also going to need uh, to cut the steer just to have that clean look uh, this looks like more of a bodge now and one more key change that i'm going to do is that I'm going to install uh, a Durace TI2 group set on it from the previous generation 1970 and uh, as you can see uh, the chain can be improved quite a lot it's very dirty standard oil lubrication so we're going to clean up the whole drivetrain and convert it to a wax chain setup so without further ado let's get into work The bike is now ready with the DI2 upgrade in place. With Shimano it's not as convenient with SRAM because well the shift buttons are integrated uh, right into the brake levers so you don't have as much flexibility as with the blip buttons. But on the other hand uh, perhaps you can achieve a neater solution. You can also see I've removed the bar tape uh, in favor of some grip tape there. Uh, and yeah these are the single shift buttons uh, for the Durace system uh, on the extensions right on goes the Ergon foam that comes stock with the Canyon and here are the USC ski band 50s to match the position of the rider uh, one thing that is missing uh, is the aero coach uh, angles that angle up the armrest these are kind of small spacers uh, in a wedge shape that allow that come in different sizes we opted for the 15 degree tilt uh, with this one as you can see I had to cut off uh, a bit in the back part of the extension just to allow for free rotation of the handlebar uh, which is a bit of a trick solution to get it working with the nutrition box right here it's also where I've hidden uh, the DI2 junction box and all the extra wires now this bike does come from the factory uh, Or the, one of the factory builds does include DI2, but this one came in mechanical So the small parts uh, that enable the neat routing of the cables and hiding the battery are not included unfortunately uh, so what I had to do is to take out the bottom bracket and use the hole on the bottom of the frame to just wrap the battery uh, in foam and press it right up 
it's also where the junction box sits or the middle junction uh, and the rest of the routing was pretty straightforward now you might ask uh, what is the advantage of di2 over mechanical shifting well for a standard road bike uh, it's mainly superior shifting uh, particularly in the front more reliable with the strong motor on there and the biggest for me is less maintenance or basically no maintenance because you don't need to worry about cable stretch contamination etc so it's a more robust system uh, this version also has uh, the newer BTDN 110 battery so we have a synchro shift setup on there so you don't need to worry about separate front and rear shifting you just uh, press the buttons for easier gear harder gear and the system does the front shifting for you when it's appropriate so this is something you can't achieve with mechanical shifting uh, but there are even more advantages in a triathlon slash time trial bike and that is well, the possibility of having separate satellite shifter options so again with a mechanical system it wouldn't be possible to have shifting uh, on the base bar and on the extensions at the same time for obvious reasons uh, so this is one and the second thing is flexibility when you have mechanical gears particularly if you have two by adjusting the position of, and the front end of your bike uh, is quite restricted uh, by your cable length, by your housings and also inners uh, and that is very very inconvenient particularly if you go for example for some error testing it's not uh, that easy to make changes uh, on the go here super simple just unplug the cable or with, even without unplugging it if you have enough length you can play around with it without messing the settings up uh, there's no indexing to worry about because it's all done electronically so overall it's a much much neater system okay so this was the upgrade of the Canyon Speedmax CF if you want to know more about the equipment that I use for my training and racing or some other bikes that I work on then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe it's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time